Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last weekend I was crafting away in my craft room. Uh, it was another snowy day in Finland and I just decided to turn the camera on for a quick-ish video. So um, in the beginning I showed you some of the cards I had made until I decided to hit the record button. But uh, I had basically made myself some of these uh, kits, card making kits that had usually they had most of the matting layers and um, an image and obviously the background paper that I knew I wanted to use. Like here I have this cute Christmas Picky from, from Kate Crafts and I had an additional layer for it because I was showing you that the paper I used here, that uh, white and red paper, it was really flimsy so I didn't want to cut anything out from its matting layer because I simply didn't think it would look good. I decided to pop the Picky up with some foam squares and I think I pretty much centered it. I was thinking about different um, placement but I went with the center and there you saw me fiddling away with the sentiment. <laughs> um, I have this box where I store all my leftover sentiment pieces because usually when I die cut some out I got out more than I need so that I have some extra pieces to use when I need them. Then I am still going through some stars that I want to use and basically get rid of. So that is what I added. And off to a fox we go. And that paper I wanted to use with the fox is a little bit sturdier, so um, I decided to cut, cut some off from the center, from the matting layer, and it turned out perfect. Because um, with the piece that I got out, I could create just a tiniest border to the fox image. And now I'm just gluing the background paper to the matting layer and adding lots and lots of glue like I always do. <laughs> but yeah, and there I go, gluing it down onto my card base. I always use, or not always, but almost al always, <laughs> I use white card bases and they are the standard European size which is then and a half times 14.8 centimeters so it's a little bit different size than um, A2 card bases are but it's close to it and there we go I was I needed a matting layer for my sentiment because I didn't have any on my magic box. <laughs> so um, I got a few. Uh, I did it in white because even though the background paper is white-ish, I didn't think that the sentiment stood out enough not as much as I would like it to, so there we go. Just added some stars and it was good to go. And here I was wondering what my original plan was, but I decided to cut the paper strip, background paper strip that I had in half, so that I could glue it on both sides of my matting layer. This is not my card base. This is my matting layer, so, or 
in a way this becomes a chord base base of the chord I don't know <laughs> but yeah um, I wanted to frame this image too so that is actually like burlescent gold yellow <laughs> paper that I used for it and there I just added a few drops of glue on the base layer so I could be sure to um, catch all the edges and then I just got the excess off whatever was laying outside the layer and there now it's on my card base and this time I decided to go with a bigger sentiment wasn't sure what, where I was going to put it as you can see I use quite a lot of these uh, really intricate die cuts um, usually when people do that they put double-sided adhesive like double-sided tape behind the sentiment and uh, cut it out that way so that they can just remove the paper and uh, put it down but I don't usually do that here I was totally unsure whether I wanted to use that image I tried to trim it down a little bit so that the beautiful um, poinsettia background paper would show more and I guess that would have been okay but for some reason I just didn't like it so um, I had this snowflake border that I um, had die cut out of white cardstock previously and I also had some poinsettias or die cut images <laughs> something from a finished print so um, I decided to go with that and the bunch I was using was from Craftelier and uh, it's actually a tag bunch but in this case I I just use it to snip out the cor corners of my pattern paper. I thought that would add some extra interest to this otherwise quite plain or simple card. Most of the cards I make in this video, like some of my other videos, are quite simple to make. They are not like mind-blowing or uh, <laughs> probably not the greatest cards I've ever seen or I've ever made. Uh, but card making doesn't always have to be so difficult. Sometimes it's fine just to go with the flow. And there I grabbed my uh, Distress Oxide in Lumberjack Plaid, I guess think that's how you said it <laughs> not sure uh, but uh, anyway I decided to ink the edges because sometimes when you cut paper like this red background paper that I had there um, you can see some white showing and I didn't really like no actually that's not why I used it. <laughs> Let's take this back a little bit. Um, I, I used the ink because I had chosen a white matting layer. And like I said, um, I use white card bases. So the layer wouldn't really show. Obviously, it's also fine to use white on white. Uh, you can still, still see there's an additional layer, but I usually want my layers to show up a little bit more and ink is a great way to do that. And there we go. I'm just gluing it down to my base. 
and picking a sentiment. This time I didn't use the shadow part of my sentiment die, which says Christmas joy. I thought it would stand up on its own just as much as it needed. And a few more stars and that was done. This card is going to be pretty much the same as the previous one. So I think I just stopped filming at one point <laughs> and later on came back with the uh, finished card because that was just sake for this video not being super 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 long. But I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. See, my memory still works in some ways. Anyway, that hamster was super cute. And the, many of the images you can see me using here are, again, from Kate Crafts. Okay, so here's... This is pretty much the third similar card in a row. But what I did differently was that I actually took one of my scraps, that uh, green star paper you can see in the background. And I put that on top of the other strip. That is just to create some interest, just to add a little something, something onto the card. Uh, they were quite plain in other ways, so. And there you could see my pretty, pretty um, trash can, basically, <laughs> that I have on my desk. Um, so, sorry I'm not more classy. classy. <laughs> That's just how I roll. But anyway, here... Um, you can see there is quite a lot of my matting layer that red cardstock so showing. But what you probably cannot see is that the red paper has a texture. It is this beautiful uh, linen surfaced cardstock. So I think it works quite well for things like this. And once again, I'm adding some dim dimension uh, by adding those foam dots. These were just like really thin one, just one mil millimeter. And this time I decided to, decided to use some snowflakes. And there were, I was showing you that I had accidentally gotten some ink on my image or the matting layer of the image. So I decided to hide it <laughs> with a snowflake, which worked perfectly. So yes, we all make mistakes, but there's usually one way or another to hide it. And here I am cutting the center of my matting layer once again. Yes, I am frugal in that way. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a great tip whenever you are running low on on paper or if you just want to use it wisely because if um, like if I have an A4 size paper, I can cut four pieces, four matting layers, full matting layers out of it. But um, then I would need another one from for the sentiments and matting layers and so on. But if I got the uh, centers of those four pieces, uh, it, it goes a lot longer in a way, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I did some inking here and matting, but I felt like the card still needed something. It would have been fine, especially because I did it. I decided to add that red layer that I got got out from the uh, first matting layer but I was just trying to find 
another layer because that's that's another thing you can do whenever you're making cards. Um, you just keep adding until you're happy. And here I go again with my uh, tack bunch from Craftlier. Um, I just snipped the edges away. Obviously you can do that just with your scissors. Uh, the effect is the same but it kind of bothers me because I never manage to uh, get them even. They're never exactly the same and <laughs> I love symmetry. So uh, the punch works well for me. And here I'm using my cute little fine tip bottle of glue to put down the sentiment and I was playing with the place placement of it and with this one I decided to go straight to the middle uh, and even though in many cases I wasn't sure if I would like this card uh, I think it actually was probably my favorite <laughs> of the ones I made on this video because they're multiple layers. I love the snowflakes and all that. So yeah, sometimes it's wise to keep on adding and adding and Danny. And I still wasn't done. I decided, decided to add some bling that is just clear, clear bling. And then I took my distress collage medium to attach those. Um, usually I use bling that is self-adhesive, but I don't trust that. And here, I'm just going through all the cards that I made. I wanted to start by showing you these three similar cards. They're basically all the same. They have the similar idea or same basic idea. I used uh, the images, although they're different images uh, on the same spot. Um, just one of the sentiment ha sentiments has a shadow border and so on. But yeah, same but different. You can use the same idea to uh, make different cards. And here I thought I was done, but I decided that I didn't really flip through the cards as I should. So here I go. One last look at the cards. I'm really happy that you decided to join me and use some time uh, of yours to look at the cards I made. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you can see what I come up with next. And I think that's going to be a sheet load of cards. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.